Hey guys, JC6 here, back at you with Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Right now we are on the case of Miles Edgeworth. I'm trying to see what, what the heck actually happened in the case. Nick, what happened with Edgeworth? He may have threw the first day in court alright, but I don't know how good our prospects are from here on though. He's terrified of earthquakes, he acts like a little boy. But we're only in the same class for a year. And the DL6 happened? I think you still sound like you are trying to fill up through flu away. What happens next? Um, as far as I could see, the tank was flying out. Went out in the boat to uh, every night in the boat. Gave me that still samurai. Let's see, apparently, what ha what's going on here is Larry's trying to like apparently find some find some. Um, I guess he screwed up in filling up that that balloon. It flew off into the lake. Now he um. And the compressor apparently flew off into the woods, or some, something like that. And that's pretty. That's pretty much what you have to do to progress the storyline. Is that you pretty much got ask, get the get the tank, ask Larry the questions. Then you got to go into Gore Lake Woods and. Um, You gotta move over to the um then you gotta present Lada with the um Yeah this um Yeah what I think what we have to do is you gotta talk to Gordy uh, not talk to Gordy, but you got to, um, yeah, we, what you gotta do is you gotta, um, get this cut, you gotta get this dialogue sequence to, to activate. With, we have, uh, you gotta get the, um, then you gotta, you gotta, then you got to, um, say Gordy doesn't exist. Or you gotta say we found him. And the, the, the answer to get on with the plot, basically to, basically the way I play this game is that I go by plot. Basically every time I play, do a let's play, I don't fool around. Some let's player, they, um, in order to make the let's play, to, um, they like to go with the more tourist approach, you know, to do sightseeing, show off every single little item that's in the game. With me, that's just too complicated because I'm a little, I'm more straightforward with my let's play approach. Is that I, yeah, I'm more, I'm more, I'm more uh, straightforward with my let's play approach because basically it boils down to um. Basically, it boils down to can I do I beat did I beat the game, and I work backwards for that. I go from am I going to beat the game? Then I work backwards into in order to beat the game for this game, you gotta go by plot. Are you advancing the plot? And then if I if I have anything interesting to say about something reminds me of something that I say, that's pretty much my approach to this. It's not really anything complicated. I don't go through every single detail. If I don't know what to do, I may explore a little bit, but if I know what to do, I just skip all that crap and just get straight to the point.
And yeah, basically the thing to pick is Gordy doesn't exist. Lana, there is no such thing as Gordy. But how can y'all be so sure? Really, Nick? Y'all got some proof Gordy don't exist? Proof that Gordy doesn't exist? Um, it's here. We got, yeah, we, believe it or not, even though it's not completely obvious, I mean, I don't know, I mean, I guess if you thought deeply enough about this, this would make sense, but, I mean, this isn't plainly obvious, but this is the proof that he doesn't exist. Mary's air tank? What y'all doing with an air tank? This is Gordy. Um, excuse me? What exactly are you saying, Nick? Oh, that's Maya. There's a stand here, a hot dog stand. There's a giant inflatable samurai doll there. About a week ago, an idiot who happened to be a friend of mine filled it. And when the valve flew, the tank flew into the lake. Apparently, it flew and made a bang or something. Banks. Um, apparently, the uh, sound the uh, it made a bang sound and a couple something about a couple of uh, photographing the um, balloon flying off or whatever. That's I'm just I'm just paraphrasing what's going on. It's really the still samurai. That's a fine fine way to ruin a gal's dreams. I'll give you your info like I promised. Oh, don't let it get you down. You know, hey, look, it's better that you knew the truth than wasting your time out in the woods. Hey, there was a lot of times where I had to face the reality. Like, I knew stuff wasn't going to happen unless I did something a specific way, like... Like, you know, sometimes, you gotta be, not only, you gotta, it's really difficult in this world to fulfill anyone's actual dreams, because, when reality starts hitting home, it's like, you gotta, you gotta put together all the practical pieces to make stuff happen, you gotta be, not only do you gotta be creative, I create. I mean, not only do you have to keep remembering, like what, like what, what your dream is, but you gotta also remember how to actually make it happen in reality. Basically, I think what's going on here is is um what's the what's what, what what am i trying to say here what am i trying to say but i don't know i'm going off on a i'm going off on, on another one of my um another one of my um ob, one of my uh speeches or whatever so i'll go, I'll go ahead and just just move on with the game Let's go ahead and go with case information. Tell us this information you have. I overheard the cops around here saying something about the witness tomorrow. They say he's the ter caretaker of the boat rental up the path there. There's someone there? I mean, it looks so deserted. It's that old guy living by himself. All by, all, all, living by himself. Let's get cracking. Click twice. It's not my. Is let's see. We got an empty. We got a second picture of the lake. Had to pack up and leave. And the legend that left familiar to all who know him for any. Uh, any, uh, any length of, any, uh, any length of time. So whip their butts into shape. Yeah, well, someone should whip, whip that butt into shape. Oh, 
Okay, what's... Uh... Someone should... Someone should, um... You know what's the strange thing about Larry? Larry is one of those characters... If you see him through all the games, Larry is one of those characters that, um... Larry is just one of those characters that... He, he always seems to be... I, he never, he never always seems to be... He's one of those characters that just seems to be everywhere that you go. He just pops up out of nowhere sometimes. Like sometimes Larry just he's he's like he, even places that doesn't really make sense for him to pop up he just pops up for some reason. Yeah, basically after we got the um, what did we get from Lala? Basically, after all that crap that we just went through, um, we got the um, second lake photo, so... Basically, the way I'm going to progress with the plot is... I, I really don't remember everything that you're supposed to do. If I remembered everything I was supposed to do in this game, I think I'd be like... I don't know, some type of... Well, what's the word for? Some type of fanatic or whatever. Phoenix Wright, um, Ace Attorney fanatic. I mean, this game is, this is a cool game and all, but... Let's see... This is a game that you need, like, a pretty good amount of imagination to actually play. Let me, let me put it this way. This is a game that... This is a game that... I think... You need to... What, what, let me, let me, let me, what's the, what's the word for it? I think this is a game like if you were, if you, you were a person that likes to read a lot, you would enjoy playing this kind of game. With me, I don't really, to be honest, I actually, I actually do a pretty good amount of I'm actually, um, pretty, um... I actually, um, to be honest, I actually... I don't read a lot... With, with me, I... Well, well, how... With me, is I guess... You could say... I'm kind of, I, I am kind of used to reading, though. It's like, it's sort of kind of like... Related to... It's all related. It's all related to the way I uh, related to the way I'm making money. Is, is pretty much I have to read, so it's like so related to that. Let's see. I'm not even paying attention to what's what this old man saying something about the wet noodle. Like in case in case you guys want to get into the Phoenix Wright games, um, I guess um, I guess to be honest, I think I think um. I think this is pretty much more, more or less kind of a... 
I don't, I, I would say this is a game that you need to be, like, be some type of, like, brainiac, some sort of, you could say, uh, what's, what's, uh, I think this is a game that you have to be, you gotta be a language, you gotta be a language kind of person to actually enjoy this kind of game. I mean that's I, I guess that's that's just the best way to put it. It's just you gotta be you gotta be you gotta be used to language. Well that's well I'm gonna wait hold up. I'm having um I'm I'm having um something something I'm having um there was some error in my some error in my some error coming up in my uh, in my uh, there was some I don't know some gas crap going on with my uh, going on with my throat or whatever. Well, that's that, that's it for today's episode. Thank you for your support. Take care, everybody. And I will see you guys next time.